Hello guys. Today we're gonna see something uh, about tracking of, of uh, mobile robots, particularly. Okay. Well, uh, we know already how to um, follow a line, but it is not the general case for a robot. Instead of line, uh, the general case is to uh, follow some trajectory defined in this in this xy plane well the trajectory could come from a sequence of coordinates uh, generated by a planner as it can be seen uh, uh, consequently or from the robot sensors in a real time both ways are uh, very very useful okay um, well some simple algorithm is what we call the pursuit uh, for which uh, there's some uh, goal some uh, goal position which is called x and y uh, asterisk here and um, we can see this as this point moving at some constant velocity along the trajectory and robot is always directed towards the goal that's the main idea for pursuit so what we are going to do is instead of using uh, or, or following just a line or trying to go to some point no matter how what we're going to do is try to follow this moving point I mean now this goal point is going to move uh, in this in this plane okay that's uh, the strategy that we're going to follow as we mentioned earlier uh, tracking could be modeled as uh, a moving point and this point is moving with respect to time so um, in terms of in terms of a pursuit, the mobile robot should keep a distance, uh, let us name this distance d asterisk, behind the pursuit point. So um, we can state some error here. Take a look, we have this e equals to the distance of the actual position x and y of the mobile robot with respect to the moving point as x and y asterisk minus d which is distance uh, this distance of course is uh, uh, another parameter for the robot okay for for, for this uh, for this uh, control and um, what we should do is to regulate the velocity of the robot and uh, we can use a pi controller like the following um, equation so let us call this b asterisk which is going to be ac the actual uh, control lobe and we can s we can see here that we have a proportion of the error and there are as stated before uh, plus some uh, proportion of the integral of, of this error uh, clearly it's a pi a proportional integral controller right besides velocity uh, we should control the direction of the robot so we need a second controller and second controller uh, is going to turn the robot to towards the goal and uh, we can define this angle theta asterisk as the inverse tangent of uh, y asterisk mi minus y over x asterisk uh, minus x which is actual the actually the direction towards the, the the goal the goal point right once define this angle or this direction then we can use uh, just a proportional controller okay in order to to turn the steering wheel towards the goal so we're going to name this alpha alpha is going to be the control low actually and if you can see this is just a proportion kh of the error of the direction uh, stated as uh, uh, theta asterisk minus the actual angle the actual orientation of the mobile robot which is theta okay so we can use um, the toolbox from Peter Cork in order to make simulation of this couple of controllers that we have seen, be, that we have seen, okay. 
<coughs> so um, there is a, a controller for the the velocity, which uh, can be regulated by the the plug here named throttle, and uh, the steering, which is uh, going to control the the angle or the direction of the robot. Um, we are using again the bicycle model, uh, which is uh, clearly used for any for any kind of this mobile robots that we have seen now and it's possible to make the simulation and in the following slides you're going to see the actual um, simulation of this the first slide uh, is uh, the, the XY plane, the movement of the robot in the XY plane and the other are uh, the other couple of slides are the angle and the velocity of the robot uh, thank you guys See you.